So scientists come in all flavors, all styles, all passions. There are a few intrinsic things that are really good to have. First is, I think a tenacity, a stick to itness is really important. The problems aren't always easy. When you pose a problem or a question or hypothesis, whatever, and you, and you want to attack it and try to make progress in understanding this aspect of whatever, the natural world, the physical world, whatever. Uh, typically, the first impression, the first answer won't come easily. It might take some time, some organization, some learning, some trial and error, and it really does pay to have uh, you know, a bit of, of tenacity because you know, it's like anything. You have to train to run a mile, so you have to think about it a while to study it. The second thing is, is, to, is to maintain your passion um, because problems morph and change as you attack them. Why is Mars red becomes what's the history of water that oxidized the crust that then might have told us the water was present enough to produce environments that, you know, blah, blah, blah. Now the initial question becomes much more exciting. So you need to, you should never wait to wonder, but you need to continue to wonder as the problem shifts and changes. So that's good. The next thing is, don't be afraid to fail. If you try out an idea and you think you're going to make some measurements and it doesn't work, fine. Even if the experiment is not fully well posed, the fact that you're doing the experiment and thinking about it and maybe realizing, oh, that wasn't quite right, I probably couldn't have gotten an answer that I wanted, is part of the fun. Experimentation is fun. And, you know, whether it's driving a robot truck to see if you can go up an inclined plane or climb a tree, maybe futile, but still fun, those are all parts of testing the limits. So I think the willingness to fail but try again, the stick to itness, the willingness to say, okay, I got it wrong. I need to go back to the drawing board. I need to learn a little more to try a better experiment. I think all of us that have come into science have seen, have witnessed that kind of process. We all can do that. That's intrinsically human, but living with it. Um, some people, you know, don't want to wait to get good at something, whatever it is. Science, sometimes you're good in different ways at different times. But again, it's there for us. And some people say, oh, those big science problems are, you know, they're all, they've all been answered. And I would say, hardly. We barely understand our own planet and its workings in the context of space and the universe. Plenty of problems for everyone, literally, we, plenty.